On this video we'll be going over how to control your XPMC on your iPad, iPhone, iPad, iPod, PC or Mac with your iPhone, iPad, iPod, whichever iOS device you prefer. Uh, so basically on this case I'll be using my iPad 2 and I'll be using my iPhone 4S to control my iPad using this XPMC remote app. Uh, I don't know if you've tried it before, but I don't know if you're watching a movie, you got your iPad playing over AirPlay, or you got your iPad connected to the HDMI adapter to your TV, and then you notice that you have to pause the video or, I don't know, make a change on your selection or whatever, and if you were like me, you'd have to get up and physically touch your iPad in order to uh, stop it, change it, or whatever. So basically, uh, I as many, I already knew that you can control your iPad with the HTTP settings, but I had just didn't want to bother. Uh, until today, I started messing around. I decided to come over to the uh, control area. So basically, again, if you didn't catch that, you're going to go over to Systems, Settings, select Services, and then we're going to go over to Web Server. And what you're going to do here is just pretty much allow control of XPMC via HTTP. This is going to do is allow you to control your uh, XBMC platform with uh, this little nifty little app. And what you can do with this app once you download it is the first one that comes up when you uh, search on the App Store XBMC. What you're going to do is uh, come over to the settings and select Find XBMC. Once you have already activated the uh, Allow Control by HTTP, it'll automatically add it as you can see. Ronald's iPad and we come over here to settings and let's just go over to remote control as you can see so I'm touching it with my finger and here I'm controlling it with the iPhone so we go over to matchup but let's go back to the main site uh, and let's go over to movies see this uh, nifty little controller if you had uh, files under movies or downloaded movies you would have uh, movies under that we go over to pictures like so, it would have all of that right there for you. And let's see, I don't have TV shows either. It's music. I don't have that either. So let's go back to the remote control. And let's go to mashup, select. As you can see, it's very responsive, very quick. I press it, it works. I press it, it works. If I select home, it goes back home. So I highly recommend you start using this app to control your XBMC platforms on all your devices, uh, PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, iPod. Uh, it's, very, it's very nifty. Uh, you can add subtitles to your movies directly from the app and so on. You can just play around with it and see all the features that are available to you. Again, this is the XBMC Media Center uh, uh, remote uh, that's available on the App Store. It's for free. No ads, so I recommend that you download it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.